Facebook. Hello, hello. Jamie and Marcus here. Hello, everybody. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Um, it is gorgeous outside. Hence the title of this yep. <laughs> of this Facebook Live. Make sure you have sound. Make sure we have sound. Sometimes it's connected to Bluetooth. Sometimes it isn't. So good. good. We got sound. Good. Perfect. Awesome. Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. It's about noonish. Watching live. Go ahead. <laughs> and we are, um, well, tell them what we're doing. Well, we're on our way back from a bike ride. Um, we went down to the rail trail in um, Goshen, and um, we needed to we needed to get a bike tune, so we dropped off a bike, picked up a couple of things that we needed. I was actually trying to get my shoes. I just got a new bike a few months ago, and I needed new shoes, so... Um, yeah, the shoes have been out of stock. They've been out of stock, and I thought they came in, and... I guess the wrong ones came in, so somehow the wrong ones were ordered. So anyway, we decided to uh, go on a bike ride. So we did 10 miles on the rail trail, correct? Yep. And yeah, and we're just out, just enjoying this beautiful day, trying to figure out what we're gonna do for the next couple hours until Aroma Time opens. You mentioned going for a little run. I did mention going for a little run, so maybe we'll go to, uh, we will go to the track and go for a quick mile, mile and a half run. Um, Courtney, Courtney asked me if I wanted to do a 50 mile challenge in the month of September, where we run 50 miles uh, in the whole month. And um, so I've been doing. If you do a mile and a half every day from when we started, um, it would be yeah, 50, about 50 miles. About 50 miles yeah. So I've done a mile and a half the last two days. So I thought maybe go for a mile today as well. Get my mile in. Uh, let's see. Um, what else is going on? Oh wow! So it's Labor Day weekend, and the restaurant was super, super, super busy last yes. night. Uh, thank you to everybody who came out last night. Thank you to everybody who continue continuously um, supports us. It's amazing uh, how many new faces we see. Lots of new faces. Um, um, Jim Rowe, I just heard my face looking at Mark's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's my it's, cycling it's shirt, Jim. It's bright, Jim. It's bright. It's Gotta be able to see him on the trail, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've been really, really busy. And I expect today and tomorrow and Monday to be busy. I know um, we're closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Don't forget we have jazz every Thursday night. We do not have a wine dinner. No, nope, no wine dinner. No wine dinner this week. If you're a member of the local Chamber of Commerce, they canceled the mixture on Wednesday, right? Yes. At our place. So, so we have two days off this week. We weren't expecting yeah. to have two days off. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think we might head up to the Finger Lakes. Yeah, that's what we were talking do about. Do a little more networking. Yes. And working on our Finger Lakes trip. So if we have an afternoon, a day to go up there and a night, I think we're probably going to do that. Um, super excited because we booked our trip to Mexico. Yes. A little wine country in Mexico in uh, Guadalupe Valley. Just above the 30th parallel in Baja. That's, that's exciting. So... Thanks everybody for watching us. There's lots of people on. If you're actually watching us live, put hashtag live in the comments. The more people that comment, right, the more, the more, um, yeah, the more, the farther the video goes as views, so. as the algorithm knows that people like what we're talking about. You know, I, I love when I'm sitting and talking to people and they're like, we watched your Facebook live today, but they weren't on it live. They were watching me on the replay. And I yep. think that's pretty cool. Yep. And they're like, wow, you know, um, I love the drink you made, and I'm like, you weren't watching me. They go, no, we were. Or we watched it later. They watch so, it later. Yeah, the so people watch later. Cool. I like that. Uh, if anybody has any questions to ask? Yeah, ask us away. I kind like of food questions. Mexican vino, awesome, Jim. Uh, we're excited about Mexican wine. Tasting it down there, the uh, importer, right? The uh, largest yeah, uh, Mexican, Mexican importer. There's 200 wineries in the Guadalupe Valley, like 201. So I've been. I didn't realize there were that many. First, I thought there was like 50 or 60 or 70, but there's actually over 200 wineries in the Guadalupe Valley, um, and they're making some really good wine down there. That's exciting. Um, 1497 yeah. is the oldest winery in North America, and it is indeed from the Guadalupe Valley. The wow. Span, uh, Spanish people came in with their wine technology, uh, or wine, wine culture, and um, put it in there in place in 1497. First winery opened there. 
So you don't really think of northern Mexico as a, as a wine region, but it's there's also another wine region too in central Mexico that the importer was telling us about that is a very good wine region that um, that he's going to start importing from in, importing into the U.S. from uh, next year on. He's going to be able to. It was this, he was describing. I wasn't really sure where it was. We're not going to that region. We're going to the the Guadalupe Valley. The best restaurants and the best. Uh, hotels and food scene is actually in Guadalupe Valley. Well, I'm super excited about that. Just getting out there and yep. uh, finding places and exploring a new area. You Our know, hotel's on the beach. Yes. I think, yeah, there's two hotels there. We have to decide which one we're staying in. Yes. So, um, yeah, we're super excited about that. And hello, everybody else who's tuning in. I really can't. Of, not too far. Far for me to attend, Joel said. Excellent, Joel. <laughs> Great. So, awesome. That is it. I hope everybody's out there enjoying this day. Wow, what the what a weather change we've had, right? In the in the past uh, week, went from uh, you know 90s, I know, super hot, to a day like today, which is like a perfect fall day. Right. Um, I I love this kind of weather. 70s, um, dry, 65, 70, dry, not a lot of humidity. Sunny, I love it. So, yeah. So hope it. let us know what you're out there doing today. Um, and uh, I know Jim's at the rodeo. There's yeah. a rodeo in Ellensburg, Washington. Jim's catering. Good morning, it. great time last night. Awesome, thanks, Mike. We enjoyed as well. And um, excellent. I guess that's it for today. Yep. Open at three o'clock today. Open at three today and tomorrow. Monday we open at five, and Tuesday, Wednesday we are closed and. Groceries. Talk about groceries oh, a little yeah. bit. Sorry. So I'm doing what Marcus does when we say goodbye and then I start another conversation. <laughs> um, so let's see. Um, groceries. Um, we are still doing groceries. Aromatime is still doing Aromatime Direct. We're in the process of updating our grocery list. It should be pretty much done on our website. Is it? Okay. Yep. yep. Okay. Perfect. So it's updated. Our assistant's been working on that. Excellent. And if you want to get back into the groove of ordering groceries again from us, we are going to continue that. Um, in the summertime, it's a little bit harder for us to continue and do it a lot of it because of um, just being so busy. But uh, coming into the fall time, we're definitely up for doing more groceries. We and got people a are call asking about today. People are asking more and more about groceries sure as the fall are. rolls around. Um, so, and I, I, I gather as the farmers markets start closing after you know, the fall time, mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll definitely get more people who are interested in groceries or, or fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff yes. organic. So, yeah, so if you are interested in uh, getting groceries, either uh, wild salmon, we have, I think we have some halibut, we have some sable fish, um, shrimp, if you want any of our frozen um, fishes, um, wild, of course, um, and then what else do we have? Um, we just got more of those awesome Italian pizzas in. Those are awesome yes. to throw in your freezer and pull out um, pizzas. And what else? And yeah, we got we lots got of We got a couple stuff. new cheeses in. Ooh, Five cheese. spoke tumbleweed. Okay. Local raw cow's milk cheese from Goshen. Excellent. And the Toma Celine from um, Cooperstown. Uh, from the Cooperstown uh, uh, dairy. Awesome. Uh, so that both those new local cheeses are those on our list yet. Yep, we phased out Asiago, so Asiago is being phased out and it's being replaced with uh, the Thomas Celine. Nice. So excellent. So yeah, so if you need groceries, let us know. Unfortunately, we can't sell wine and liquor to go anymore. Um, we'd love that to change. We'd but... love that to change. <laughs> but yeah, so thanks for watching us. We any cool New York? It. Any cool new New York stuff that we have in as far as spirits? Oh well, I talked about Cooper's daughter. So from that way. York, uh, yes, from York, York, oh, what is it called? From Claver, Claverick? Yep, Claverick, the, old, the old town distillery or something? Yes, yes. Um, I, I, we got the lilac, we got the black walnut bourbon, yep. and we got the maple cacao vodka. Yeah, that's so really those good. those are awesome. I can't wait to play around. I played around with the lilac yesterday. I made a lemonade on my Facebook Live. Ooh, excuse me. And, um... Yeah. So, what other cool. local what other local spirits? I'm trying to think. Oh, we got the Beaver Kill. Yep. The cream. Cream. The bourbon cream yep. from Do Good Spirits, and that is awesome. That uh, that's really nice to just kind of sip on. 
That's a really good one. Yeah. yeah. So replace your Baileys with that. It's really good. Yeah. Kick Baileys to the curb. It's a big brand, big company, Diageo. Support local, support independent. So if you're here in New York, that is a great choice, the Beaver Town. Beaver, Beaver it's called Beaver Kill, Beaver Town? Beaver Kill. Beaver Kill cream. Bourbon cream. Bourbon cream from Duguid Spirits, also known as Prohibition Spirits. Yep. So a um, little name change there last year. Uh, Duguid, they are, if you own a restaurant in New York State, they'll ship directly to you now, which is fantastic if you own a restaurant and you want their products. Because they don't have a distributor anymore, they self-distribute, but they cover the whole state. So um, it's really good. So they'll just FedEx it right to you. Yes. Excellent. All right. Have a great day, everybody. We're going to sign off for now and uh, get home here. And, and yeah, that's it. Have an awesome, awesome day. Sorry.